Well, that was delicious. My turkey dinner is over. All the treats are gone. The holiday season is winding up, and now it's time to get serious and get our fitness back. Hi everyone, it's Tracy Steed of Move Daily Fitness. Well, that's what we wanna do in this workout today is just start moving daily again, okay? Maybe you took the last couple days off. Well, now it's time to hit it and hit it hard. Today's workout is gonna be another thousand rep challenge. All right, I'll show you how to modify some of the exercises ahead of time if you wanna modify for yourself. But the basic premise is this. We've got 10 different exercises. We're gonna repeat each exercise 10 times and you're doing it for 10 rounds. See the math on that? 10 times 10, 100 times 10, 1,000. 1,000 rep challenge. All right, you're gonna require a variety of dumbbells for today's workout. Make sure you have your water, BCAAs, and towel. We're getting started. Hey, if you're gonna join us in this workout and you're excited about it, make sure you smash that like button below. Or if you're coming back to review it, go ahead and let us know in the comments below what you think about this workout. Also remember, if you haven't registered yet for our six week strength accountability program, that's coming up as well. Here's a little video right up there that you can take a look at that promos it, that tells you what it's all about. You don't wanna miss that. If you need a little help on being accountable with your workouts and specifically with your nutrition, you wanna join that group. We're gonna have a private Facebook group and a daily accountability for your progress moving forward. All right, check it out. Let's get started. All right, let's start with a little warm up. Go ahead and tap this out. Give me some good arm circles right here. All right, stick that chest up. And those arms are burning already. Switch directions. Okay, I'm a little excited about this workout. 10 different exercises, that's all we have to remember. And circulating through those. All right, let's take it each shoulder width apart. Reach, stretch up those arms. Um, yeah, so I've tried to pick exercises that are gonna be multi-joint, multi-muscle, covering the whole body. So we have some cardio moves, leg, upper, and ab. So get, get it all today. All right, take it wide and open here. Hopefully you guys all had a lovely holiday season together with family and friends. And now you're ready to get back at it. My adage is that just don't ever take time off. I mean, maybe a few days, but by and large, you just move daily for the rest of your life. I think that's a good theory. Right here, tap it up. I, I've had clients do it, you know, take time off. One girl I just trained this morning and she, uh, she took about three weeks off. She had been ill and did a trip and so, but she was struggling this morning, that's for sure. Um, and it happens, it's like, you can work out for your whole life, squat overhead, and then you take three weeks off and it feels like you've never even worked out one day. So, you just can't stop, ever. That's the name of the game. All right, so let's make that our goal for 2019. One more here, good, take it wide, and reach open, stretch the chest. Good. Five more here. All right, last one. Big circles here. And switch directions. I don't know why my arms burn so quickly on this. They do though. Woo! Three, two, and one. Good, keep shoulder width apart. Squat low, reach up high. I know I do this warm up lots. I do it with my clients lots too. It's good because it does a little upper body, legs, gets the heart rate up a little bit. I mean, if you have a treadmill, you warm up on that, that's fine too, or skipping any other cardio is good too. Just wanna get, bring the blood to the areas here. My heart rate's up already. All right, four more here and we're getting started. Last one. All right, great, make sure everything is handy. We're getting going, starting with sprawling frog kicks. 
So you know what's coming. Here's a sneak peek at those 10 exercises. Starting with those 10 sprawling frog kicks, modify by walking this out, knee in, knee in, and then standing. Otherwise, we're jumping, ready, let's do it. And getting those knees to the elbows there. Three more. Last one right here. All right, good job. Moving to that clean and press, I'm gonna grab my 15s. Double squat, clean and press. Ready, let's do it. Nice tight tummy here. Side lunge is coming up. With that row. Last two. Nice. Okay. I'm using the same weights here. We're lunging to the side. Row together and lunge. Let's go. So one. Lunge. Two. Nice flight back, flat back. Last one here. And at 10. All right, you got that burpee, shuffle, burpee. Burping 10 times. Walk it up to modify, here we go. Woo. 
That burns the quads. So I'm not lying about that. Okay, moving to the hammer curl overhead press combo. These are soft, soft, I got my 15s. One is up, down, switch positions. One, two, Hard. Six, seven, eight. One more. Good. Okay. Grab a lighter weight, maybe an eight, ten, five. You're doing that squat front raise to halo. That's one. Definitely lifting heavier on my second time here. Five more. One more. And up. And halo. Okay. Round two. All right, let's jump into it. Sprawling the front kicks, here we go. here. One more. Side lunges next. Good. I'm going to use the same weights here. Okay. Ready? Lunge, hinge, row. One. Two. my knee with the dumbbell. Oh, that's gonna bruise. Two more. Good, set those down. Burpee shuffle. Let's do it. Push. 
Two more. Uh, nice. Woo. I can feel that one better. That's a good weight for me. All right, plank, foot jump. Up onto your left. Ready, and go. Stay down here for that bear position, Jack. Ready, go. Cover the knees. Woo! Yeah. I can feel that. All right, hammer. Hammer press, shoulder press alternating. <sighs> Ready, switch. One. Okay, squat, front, uh, raise to the halo. I'm gonna try it with my 15. At least one round, here we go. Grab some water. Ready for round three? Sprawling broad kicks, let's do it. Go. 
and switch. Here we go. One more. Good job. Going to the crush grip. Stay down here on your back. Dumbbells together. Ready? Go. Push. Ten. Last one here. Nice. Okay. Oh. Good. Jump those feet up on that elevated surface. Plank foot jump. Ready? And work. Bear claw plank. Work. Good. Hammer press to shoulder press. All right, here we go. Ten here. It's harder than fifteen. Brutal. Squat, front press, halo. I'm gonna stick with the 15 here. Ready? Go. As long as your squat doesn't feel compromised here, go heavy. If it does, lighten the weight. Going slow with this one. Here's eight. One more. Boom. And halo. Ugh. Okay. Seriously, only three, eh? Let's keep going. I'm gonna grab some water. Going into four. There's no doubt this takes some mental stick to itiveness, but let's do it together, you guys. Let's do it together, okay? Or just go to your happy place. And remember why you're doing it. How great this is for your body and how amazing you're gonna feel when we're done, okay? Think about that. And don't say I can't. One more. Last one here. Uh, clean and press. Woo, let's do it. Lighten your weights if you need. Okay, if you need to make it through, here we go. Tight core here. Two more, then your side lunge. Last one, boom, and no, yeah, yeah, bro. Ready? Let's go. Hinge, switch. Nine. Burpee shuffle next. Ready? Go.
Two more. Seated press. Grab your eight. Five, ten. Bicycle. Ready. Go. Nine, ten. Uh. Ready, go. Ten, crush grip. What are you guys using? Anyone got twenties out there? Anyone doing twenty fives? You let me know in the comments. What you're lifting, here we go. Two more. All right, that's 10. Let's get up into that plank foot jump. And then your bare curl jack. Ready? I like this one, it's easy. If it was more than 10, it would be hard, but here we go, jack. Bend those knees. They have to be hovered over the ground. That's hard. I want to come up. Oh, this one. Okay. Hammer curl, overhead press. This is heavy, that's why. Ready? Go. <clears throat> one. more. Oh, brutal. Why is it so hard right now? I don't know. Oh yeah. Squat. Front press. Halo. Got my 15. What are you using? Shoulders back. Tummy tight. Squat. Up. And one. Halfway. Nine. Last one here. Goodness me. Okay. You going into five. Round five, let's go, here we go. Halfway. Ready? Go. Tight. One. These are heavy for me, these 15s. But I'm gonna stick with it for a while. Two more. The last one. Brutal, side lunge. Ready? Work. Two 
two more. Burpees are next. All right, burpee shuffle. Ready, we'll move. Halfway. Last one. Oh. Okay. See the bicycle. We get to sit. Yay. Ready. Lots of work. Good. Switch sides. Ready, go. Nine, ten. Woo! Crush grip down here. Grab your heavy weights. You can also like do half of this 500 rep challenge for like a 30 minute workout. That would still be. Good work too, wouldn't it? Here we go. That wasn't a license for you guys to quit at halfway though. Just FYI. You are in it with me, girls. Two more. Last one. Whew. This one's in the middle, they're nice. They're not too hard. Ready, jump. Let's go. Bear crawl jack, go. Oh, shoulder burn for me. Woo, okay. Oh, my dreaded one. Hammer. I don't want to lighten, so I keep complaining. <clears throat> See the theme there? You can do it. It's only 10. Go. Knees are soft. Halfway. Yeah, good. Okay, squat, front hold. So we're front press to halo. How are you guys doing? Are we good? Of course we are. We can walk and we're standing and we're alive, so. Here we go, winning. Okay, ready? Go. And one. I really have to Concentrate on keeping my core tight. Don't want to use my back in this one. Halfway. One more after this. Last here. Boom, and, okay, yes, that one's done. Going into six, you. Going into six, let's go. Sprawling front kicks, one. I remember when I said at the beginning I really like this exercise? Well, Get it all, Trace. <laughs> that is the issue with this kind of workout, is that the re repetition can get monotonous, can't it? On the plus side, you're doing 100 sprawling frog kicks, 100 burpees, 100 clean and presses. When would you overload the muscle like that? 
It's good for your muscles. Trust me. Ready? Go. There's eight. Woo, two more. Let's go. Side lunge. Yes. That's a hard one for me. Okay, ready? Lunge, row. Ready, go. Last one. See? That was better, more welcoming. Oh, Hannah. Okay. Front squat halo. Are you getting to know what's coming next? Yeah? Cool. Ready? Let's go. Tight and halo. Reach your hips back. It's easy to. Go forward on your knees with this one. Don't do that. Halfway. One 
One more. Oh, brutal. Okay. Yes. Six is done. Going into seven. Woo. Okay, a little water break. How are we doing? I'm gonna just take a teeny tiny break right now. We've been getting around six minutes around. Okay. That's not horrible. That's great. What? It's great. See, so you split it in half, you got a 30 minute workout. That's great. Okay, we're gonna go right into it. Right? <laughs> yes, of course, Daisy. Three, two, sprawling frog. Let's go. Two more. We got to slosh in water. Okay, clean and press. I feel like I might start to slow down a bit here. I might lighten. We'll see. Ready? Go. Halfway. Nine. Oh, these shoulders are having a good workout. Ready? Side lunge. Go. Two more. I don't like this one actually. I don't love the side lunge myself. I mean, it's not horrible, but not my favorite. Burpee shuffle. Let's go. Last one. Shuffle. Oh yeah. Okay. Take her down. I feel like my hair's a disheveled mess. Okay. Ready? Seated bicycle. Press one. Nine, ten, go. Nine, ten, crush grip. Bring it down if you need to, okay? Just pause the video. If your heart rate's up too high, I had some girls doing a metabolic smash this morning and you know, one of them had to skip out one exercise just to bring her heart rate down more, that was fine. You gotta listen to your body. Yours is different than mine. Ready, work. Eight, nine, oh, that's it. Oh, I 
just hit my hip. That's now also gonna bruise. Okay, and moving to the plank. Foot jump. Ready? And go. Bear crawl, jack. Oh, mercy. Mercy, girl. Let's work. My couch is slipping off the carpet. Okay, moving to that hammer press. I'm stalling, you know that. Because we're going to my favorite exercise of all time. Ready? Here we go. And you know what? My right side feels really good. I think I don't like that one because my left side is hard. It's weak. I can tell. It kind of makes me nauseous. I'm like, Ugh. Okay, ready? Front squat, halo. Here we go. Reach your hips back as though you're about to sit down. for that. I feel like I'm compromising form with the front raise. Okay, that is seven. Huh. I'm gonna grab water. Join me back. We're starting eight. Ready? Sprawling frogs. Let's go. Now I really got sloshy guys. I'm drinking so much water. This is a Hard not to have sloshy stomach here. Halfway. Last one. Nice. Okay. Clean the press. I'm trying to make it sound like, hey, this is fun. Right? Remember when you chose to do this workout with me? <laughs> Ah, one. Halfway. Eight. Ten, good side lunges. Ready, let's go. Halfway. Oh. 
Okay. Woo. Seated bike. <sighs> Ready? Work. Ten, switch sides, ten. Eight, nine, ten, good. All right, crush, rip. Oh, heart rate, this is not coming down very readily, is it? These are all hard. Okay, touch them together and push. Eight. Last one. Ugh. Those 20s are adding up, that's for sure. Okay, let's get up to the side. Feet elevated, hops. Ready, work. Ten. Bear crawl, Jack, go. Ten. Oh. Hammer shoulder press. Oh. I think I'm gonna go to eight. Did I just drop it? I just, I just dropped like a whole boom. Give me one round, okay? I might switch back the next two, but we'll see. Ready? I'm tired. Here we go. One. Two more. Oh, see, that's way easier. Like, wait. Ready? Front squat halo. Let's go.
eight. Last one here. Oh, let's work. Good job. Burpee shot ball. Let's do it. Halfway. One more. Oh. Oh. I hope this is much more, much more for you guys than it is. I can talk. I hope it's as much for you as it is for me. That's what I want to say. Ready? Press. Two more. That's it. Switch legs, arms. Don't switch legs, just switch arms. Go. Ten. Crush grip. Ready? And press. Two more. Ten. Woo. Oh, great train. Okay. Plank jumps. Ready. And work. Okay, bear. Ready. Work. Here we go. Um, something's wrong with his hip. So you know how I told you I have hip dysplasia? He also does. But he's been crying about it, so uh, it's better today. But it's like he looks down off the couch like he doesn't want to jump from it. Time, I mean done. So it's not better tomorrow. He's going to the vet. Don't say that too loud. Ready? Work. And here, halo. This is way easier than the 15. Halfway. Nine, ten. Okay, you guys, we have one more round left. Oh, my Atlanta. It's only taking us an hour. Oh, I'm excited. Are you excited? Grab some water. Get focused. Can we just do it? It's only six minutes of work, okay? Maybe it might even be faster. Let's see, 6.30 we're starting. Ready and go. I'm gonna try and lay it all out here. Go as fast as I can with good form. And, uh, and without puking, and halfway.
Last one. Clean the press. Ready? Go. Five. here for this one. This is hard. Two more. Like really hard. Feeling that medial delt a little bit like on the side. Tricep here, just right there. Holy. Okay. Up for your plank foot jump. Ready? And work. You like that one the best. See? Ready? And bear jack. Ten. Okay. What's next? Oh yeah. What if we did this last one with the 15s? Just to celebrate the fact that we did the most of them for the heavy weight. Ready? I can do it. So can you. Let's go. One. Eight. That's the hard side there. Last one here. Boom. Last exercise. Oh my goodness. Squat, front press, halo. Can you believe we did it? 
I'm so proud of you for coming all this way with me. This was hard. Let's go. 10. It's gonna be a quick stretch. I see the battery flashing, but let's try to get a little one in anyway. Okay. And if time allows, I'd like to talk to you about um, how do you move daily and how do you move through something like a tragedy or grief? And how does fitness play part of that for you? Okay, uh, I just wanna highlight that and tell you a little story of our own journey here. Nine, woohoo, last one. Boom, and done. Oh my goodness, yes. You did that thousand rep challenge and you moved daily. Let's bring it down to the ground. Great job, everyone. Okay, one leg out, one knee bent, and hinge at the waist there. Oh, that felt good. Actually, I'm gonna grab the outside of my shoe, stretch a little in my lat as well from those rows. Hamstring stretch here. Way to go. Literally halfway through, I'm like, why didn't I just make this 500 reps? Why did I say 1,000? On paper, I'm like, oh, it's not gonna take me that long. Those are quick, switch sides. But six minutes each, times 10 is an hour, right? So it takes a while, but again, you can always split that up. That's a great little uh, 10 exercise circuit to incorporate because uh, minimal equipment, A, eh? but lots of muscle and joint action, so that's excellent, good job. All right, let's come into a quad stretch. So I don't know if you saw my video the other day, it wasn't a fitness video, but it was about moving daily in your wellness, fitness, nutrition, but mostly in wellness, right? I interviewed a former client of mine, her name's Maddie, and uh, if you haven't seen the video, the card's right at the top of the screen, watch the story, I'm gonna link it at the end as well because it was very moving. Uh, she, she went through a tragedy and lost her boyfriend in a car accident. She's a barrel racer. Anyway, so her exercise is racing horses, and she talks about just, I mean, those first three weeks of grief just being so overwhelming that, uh, you know, she, she didn't want to get out of bed. But how the commitment to the horses, to exercising them even, and to, for her own well-being, she was able to eventually move forward. And it's something that actually helped her in her, in her work with grief, in her lost journey. Uh, it's a really great story, so I invite you to listen to that. Uh, on a personal note, some of you may know this only because I, I shared it on Instagram in a story, just a photo of my pops, my dad, uh, who was diagnosed with lymphoma, uh, stage two non-Hodgkin's lymphoma uh, a couple months ago. So that was devastating news for our family because you may have remembered that my mom's brother died. So I didn't tell you guys this, but about a month before, that's when my dad was diagnosed. So my mom was already like in it hard, like, oh, I felt so bad for her. And then after hearing dad had cancer, all of a sudden her brother dies. And so it was, it's been very tumultuous, but at the same time you see family rally and it's like also lovely, right? But my point is that um, my dad's always moved daily, which is why he never had any disease, not one prescription medication, nothing up until this age of 80, where all of a sudden he got this cancer. But, um, but for our own health and wellness and, and uh, peace of mind and um, expression of grief or expression of anger towards something that's happening to you that you don't feel like is fair, exercise can be such a wonderful relief for for us in that regard. You know, like, I was broken. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, sorry. It's hard, it's hard because you, you love your pops and you don't wanna see that happen to him, but it just, that's life, right? And, but being committed to this channel and consistently moving daily and getting good endorphins and increased serotonin and all of those things that help you propel you forward and keep you in the game. Uh, I think it's really important. And so I'm grateful for this channel for making me committed to staying with fitness, even in the midst of that, because I feel like it's helped. Uh, serotonin 
is increased when you exercise and that's the feel good chemical. That's what helps stave off depression and anxiety is, is this increased chemical in our brain. So the more you exercise, the more you get of that. Anyway, thanks for listening. But my encouragement to you today is to move daily. No matter what you're going through, keep that as a commitment to yourself because it won't harm you. It will only benefit you, right? And help you, um, you know, even just feel alive in your body when parts of your mind and soul kind of maybe shut off um, from sadness or grief. It makes you feel grounded in yourself because you're sweating, you're feeling, your muscles are pumping, your blood is pumping. All right, so if you're going through something, I'm with you, it's hard, but as always move daily in your wellness to move through things like that and to help you along your journey. All right, love you guys, have a great week. See ya in the next video.